sponsored by Bet365. Hello and welcome to the Super Rugby Team Show. I'm Sarah Friend, here to bring you all the ins and outs of the Australian teams for round two of Super Rugby this weekend. We start things off at the Brumbies Fortress again in Canberra with the ACT hosting the Rebels at GIO Stadium. The Brumbies will be looking to extend their nine match winning streak at home to 10. Brumbies coach Dan McKellar has been forced to make one change to the starting lineup with Darcy Swain ruled out. Darcy's yeah, just got a sore shoulder, so um, yeah, it's only a week, I'd imagine. So um, yeah, it's just not quite at 100%, so we won't uh, throw him out there. We want to make sure we're all fit and ready to go and he's not quite at that level so exciting uh, opportunity for uh, for Caden and, and Frosty. After making his Brumbies debut last week, Caden Neville will get his first start teaming up with Murray Douglas in the second row. The reshuffle sees Junior Wallaby's youngster Nick Frost named as a replacement. The side is otherwise unchanged from their round one win against the Reds. Meanwhile the Melbourne Rebels will be looking to make amends from last week's loss to the Sunwolves. Coach Dave Vessels has made some changes to his forward pack in a game he expects to be won and lost up front. Oh, look, I mean, uh, you know, as I said, the primary battle that you have with, with the Brumbies is their set piece. And I'm, for some reason, they don't like to talk about that. But when your hooker is their leading try scorer, it says a little bit about how you're scoring your tries, you know. Um, so we have to deal with that as we have in previous years. And we always have a few things out of the hat that they don't expect and catch them off guard. I think uh, we want to catch the Brumbies thinking, you know. And I think when we've done that in the past, we have created some problems for them. Vessels has replaced two thirds of his front row, bringing in Matt Gibbon to start at number one. Ruan Smith comes in for Jermaine Ainsley at tight head. Michael Wells takes the number seven jersey from Rob Liotta, while Wallaby Luke Jones is out with back soreness, which means a debut for Gideon Huglenberg, a new recruit from South Africa. On Saturday night, the Waratahs head to Newcastle for their first home game of the season against the Blues. Coach Rob Penny has recalled two Wallaby forwards back into the starting side, which sees Jack Dempsey join the back row and Newcastle product Harry Johnson Holmes to start at tight head. The back line remains unchanged, led by Will Harrison at number 10. New recruit Tepai Maroa is in line for his first Super Rugby start after being named on the bench. Well, he covers the midfield really, and probably more, more so 12 than 13, but he can cover both. Um, again, um, it's early days for him, um, but he's a big, strong man. Um, he's got a good skill set and he's, his game understanding is what um, has really grown over the last month. And we think the time's right now to see if it's um, you know, grown to, to a good enough level to, to contribute positively. We think he will. Um, and um, if we're right, then we've got a, another great uh, bit of talent uh, and depth in that midfield position that's going to be very strong for us. The Reds have made four changes to their starting 15 with James O'Connor switching from inside centre to fly half. Well we've been trying uh, both Isaac and um, uh, James there all pre-season and uh, you know, they've been having turnabout as you um, saw uh, later in the half. Um, James moved into the 10 row and um, so yeah, we just want to have a look at him. Amy Stewart comes off the bench and slots into the vacant number 12 spot while lock Isaac Rodder will earn his first start of the season. Alex Murphy will start at hooker with Brandon Panga and Mosa sidelined for six to eight weeks with an ankle injury. Now let's take a look at the odds for round two this weekend, courtesy of Bet365. And the Highlanders are favourites to beat the Sharks in Dunedin. The Brumbies are favourites to make it 10 in a row at home over the Rebels and with wet weather forecast, the Blues are fancied to knock over the Waratahs in a tight one. Running through the rest of the games, the Lions are favoured to beat the Reds at home, the Crusaders over the Chiefs and the Stormers and Haguaris are expected to get the points in their games as well. If you're going to have a punt this weekend, please do so responsibly. And if you want to stay tuned to all the action, you can watch all the match highlights, previews and reviews right here on rugby.com.au.